The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is a well-known and beloved breed of dog with a strong herding background. Originally from Wales, these intelligent and agile dogs were bred to herd cattle and sheep, and their natural instinct for herding can still be seen in their behavior today. One notable aspect of their herding instinct is their prey drive, which is the topic of this video. Before we delve into the typical prey drive of a Pembroke Welsh Corgi, let's first define what prey drive means. Prey drive refers to a dog's natural instinct to chase and capture small, quick-moving animals. This instinct is deeply rooted in their DNA, as their ancestors relied on hunting for survival. It is important to note that prey drive is not aggression, but rather an inherited behavior that can be controlled and channeled in a positive way. In the case of a Pembroke Welsh Corgi with a strong herding background, their prey drive is often highly developed. This is because their primary role as herding dogs was to gather and control livestock, and a keen prey drive was necessary to perform their duties effectively. While the breed's herding instinct may vary from one individual to another, most Pembroke Welsh Corgis possess a natural inclination to chase and nip at moving objects. One common target of a corgi's prey drive is small animals such as squirrels, birds, and rabbits. These quick, darting creatures trigger the dog's natural instinct to give chase. It is important to note that this behavior is not aggressive in nature, but rather a manifestation of their herding instincts. Corgis may not always intend harm to the prey, but the desire to control and capture them can still be strong. It is worth mentioning that not all Pembroke Welsh Corgis exhibit the same level of prey drive. Each individual dog is unique and may display varying intensities of this instinct. Factors such as genetics, early socialization, and training can also influence the expression of prey drive in a corgi. It is essential for pet owners to understand their dog's individual tendencies and work with them accordingly. While a strong prey drive can be a positive attribute for herding dogs, it can present challenges for pet owners. Corgis with a high prey drive may be prone to chasing smaller animals, which can result in potentially dangerous situations. It is crucial to provide appropriate training and socialization to ensure that the dog can safely control their instincts. Teaching them the leave it or drop it commands can be incredibly valuable in redirecting their attention. To manage a corgi's prey drive, regular mental and physical stimulation is crucial. Engaging the dog in activities that provide an outlet for their herding instincts can be highly beneficial. Interactive toys, puzzle games, and obedience training can help redirect their energy in a positive direction. Channeling their prey drive into appropriate outlets not only fulfills their innate needs, but also helps prevent unwanted behaviors. Socializing a Pembroke Welsh Corgi from an early age is also vital in shaping their behavior and instinct. Exposing them to different animals, environments, and people can help them understand acceptable boundaries and reduce the likelihood of chasing behavior. Controlled exposure to small animals, under supervision, can aid in teaching the dog appropriate responses to their prey drive. In conclusion, the typical prey drive of a Pembroke Welsh Corgi with a strong herding background is deeply ingrained due to their historical role as herding dogs. While each dog may exhibit varying levels of prey drive, it is a natural behavior rooted in their genetics. It is essential for pet owners to understand and manage this instinct in a positive way through training, socialization, and appropriate outlets for their herding instincts. By doing so, Corgis can lead fulfilling lives while still honoring their innate characteristics as herding dogs.